Are you ready for some football? What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog. Here with another New York Giants video. Giants and Patriots tonight. We're live on the Entertainment Talk at Sports' channel. Come join us. We'll have a lot of fun. Finally, football is back. And yes, while these games don't count, it will be nice to see our guys go against an opposing NFL team with an opposing defense that is looking to smack the hell out of the off, you know, the offense players and a defense that is ready to get after the quarterback and drive his ass into the ground. So that is what we're looking at here tonight. And Brian Dable has come out and said that the first string guys are going to play. Now, how much they play, I don't know. I'm guessing two series. He hasn't said one way or the other, but I'm, I'm thinking two series, maybe a quarter. And I think they will play a half in game two. And I think they make it a series or two in game three. Um, but that is very important. And I've stressed this before. Last year, Joe Judge felt like they didn't need to get that those reps. And, and I don't know why. Uh, why you wouldn't have reps against an, an opposing NFL defense or offense is beyond me. Why you wouldn't get the guys in football shape? Let them get hit. Let them get their timing down. Didn't make a lot of sense. You know, in 2020, we were 6-10, and 10, so it's not like we were a great team. Yeah, we were in it right till the end, which was awesome. It was a lot of fun, even if we would have won the division at 6-10. and 10. I don't think any Giants fan would be like, well, we don't deserve it. I'm pretty sure we would have enjoyed the playoff game. We probably would have lost. We might not have. Who the hell knows? You never know with the Giants. They can look like the worst team ever win a Super Bowl. We've seen that before. You just want to get in there, take your shot. And it might have been a long shot, but getting there at least you have a shot. It's like buying a lottery ticket. You don't buy a lottery ticket. You got no chance to win the lottery. You buy a lottery ticket. You got little chance to win it, but at least a little chance is a chance. But maybe Joe Judge just thought that the 2021 Giants didn't need any game reps, didn't need to get in football shape, didn't need to work on anything as far as a game situation went, that they knew it all, and that 2021 was going to be fantastic. Now, I thought 2021 was going to be good, too. I thought they turned a corner. I thought Joe Judge did a great job. I thought the guys overperformed. He had a lot of injuries. Saquon was coming back in 2021. They they went out. And they got Kenny Galladay. I thought they'd be a lot better, and things just completely deteriorated. Um, this year, obviously, it's a whole new regime. You got Joe Shane. You got Brian Dable. You got Mike Kafka. You got Brandon Brown. You know, and you got your rookies. You got your Kadarius Tony and Evan Neal, which everybody's excited to see. You got Wandale Robinson, who's been awesome in training camp. So you're looking to see these guys out there. You're looking for the rookies to get those NFL reps. And like I said, you're looking at Daniel Jones building the timing with the receivers. You know, you're looking at the linemen. You're looking at Evan Neal getting a chance to get his feet underneath him against a real NFL pass rusher that is going to get the quarterback if you don't block them. You know, it's not like they're going to run up to Daniel Jones and just go up, you're down. They're going to drive him into the ground. So Evan Neal, he needs all the reps he can get. It's it's a new system. They need reps. They need to learn this system. They need to learn timing. They, and, and Wink Martindale's system is new as well. They're going to need to learn how to blitz. They're going to, Not that we're going to show everything. Obviously, it's a very vanilla playbook. But at least they're getting in football shape. Like I said, they're getting football reps, and they're going to get some timing down and get someone acclimated to what they're trying to do against a team that's trying to do their best to stop them on both sides of the ball. Um, I'm excited to see what the Giants do. And I want to talk about Wink Martindale's defense and how good do you think this could be? Because I, I did a video talking about how good could the Giants wide receiver core be. And, you know, if all things go well and they stay healthy, I think they got a chance to be pretty decent. Um, you know, cautiously optimistic. It happens every year. You go into the year and you just, you're hopeful, right? Hope springs eternal. It's a new year. Everybody's zero and zero. You're like, this is the year. This is the year. They haven't given us much reason to believe in them over the last five years, but that's in the past. So anything can happen, right? But I think the receiving core could be decent if they stay healthy, if the offensive line stays healthy, if they can block for Daniel Jones, if they can run the ball effectively and get Daniel Jones a manageable third and fives, third and threes instead of third and 13 where he's not going to have a chance. So we'll we'll see what the offense does. But the defense, I'm a defensive guy. I've been watching the Giants since 84, so I grew up in the linebacker era. I grew up with Lawrence Taylor and Carl Banks and Gary Reasons and Pepper Johnson. I grew up with those guys. I grew up with the Leonard Marshalls and those absolutely dominant Bill Parcells, Bill Belichick run defenses of the 80s. Now, the game is completely different, but I've always liked a guy that's aggressive. Steve Spagnuolo was also aggressive in 2007 with a lot of blitzing, and it certainly paid off. You got to have the personnel 
to be able to run this type of defense. And when I had Tim on the channel the other night from Online Big Blue Sports, we talked about it. He made a good point. Wink Martindale had really good talent in Baltimore, especially in the secondary, which allowed his defenders to get to the quarterback. Now, there's one of two ways you can look at this. If you have a really good pass rush, if Thibodeau and Aziz Ojolari, Leonard, Mar Leonard Marshall, listen to me, Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence can get to the quarterback and get there fast, then obviously it'll mask an average to below average secondary. However, if the offensive line, the running back, tight end, whatever, is able to pick up the blitz and the secondary gets exposed, you know, you could have some big plays against you. It's a shot you got to be willing to take. So I'm interested to see exactly how aggressive Wink is during the preseason. Um, but again, I'm also interested to see how Aziz Ojolari and Kayvon Thibodeau work well together. And I, I do think that this will allow guys like Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence to have bigger seasons. I, I'm anxious to see these guys go after the quarterback. I'm anxious to see what Wink has back there. I think Xavier McKinney is going to be fantastic. Darnay Holmes had a good training camp. How much do we really trust Dory Jackson as a number one corner? Will Aaron Robinson take over the cornerback number two spot? I think he will by the end of the year. I don't know if he'll start there, but I do think by the end of the year he will be corner number two. And again, if you're blitzing, you're always going to be taking that chance. But I do feel like Wink Martindale's defense, again, if they're healthy, if Leonard Williams is healthy and Dex Lawrence is healthy and Aziz and Thibodeau, they all play 17 games. I don't know if O'Shane Zemenez or Quincy Roche is going to make the team. Uh, you know, going into the camp, you would have thought Roche without a doubt, but Zemenez has had a nice camp. So again, that's another thing you're looking at here with the preseason games is these camp battles, these guys fighting for position. So yes, while we're anxious to see, I'm getting off topic here, while we're anxious to see what the Giants do as far as like the first string guys go, you're also anxious to see what these back end of the roster guys do and who's going to make the team, like the battle between Darius Slayton and Colin Johnson, you know, who, who can make the team there. It's going to depend on who has these really good preseason games so Roche and Zemenez is another one another nice battle that we're going to look at but again I, I feel like Wink Martindale's system I feel like the Giants have guys that can get to the quarterback and kind of mask that secondary that doesn't mean that we're not going to have big plays against us anytime you blitz no matter how good your secondary is no matter how good your defense is you are definitely opened up. You're making yourself prone for a big play against you. It happens. One of the toughest, I think the second toughest position in the NFL to play is corner, especially with the way the rules are set up now. The corners really don't have an advantage. You can't go up there and make contact after five yards. And we all know receivers are very shifty off the line. If you don't get that jam at the line of scrimmage and they're by you, they're by you. Quarterback's going to release the ball real quick and you're going to have a big play because if you're bringing seven guys – there's nobody back there to protect. If you're bringing the safety blitz, there's nobody back there to protect if they get behind the defense. So again, you could see some. You're going to see high risk, high reward with Wing Martindale, but I'm ready for that. You know what I mean? I'm not obviously if they give up a big play, I ain't going to be happy about it. Let's face it. I I don't like when we lose. I don't like when we give up big plays. But this is like a complete night and day comparison between Patrick Graham, who kind of had a bend but don't break. Uh, defense and Wink Martindale, who's like, you know, I'm pushing all my chips in the middle, into the middle of the table. You either got the hand or you don't got the hand. I'm not bluffing. You know, we're coming. So I'm. I mean, again, I'm anxious to see Wink Martindale's defense in action. I think it could be really good. I'm kind of excited. I'm always a defensive guy. So I'm always more excited for the defense. But I'm also very anxious to see the offense and what Dable system has in store for Daniel Jones and company and what Mike Kafka has in store and how they're going to utilize Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley, especially Saquon in the passing game. So there's a lot of things to look at tonight. Again, I think these guys get one or two series, and we can't read too much into it because, again, it's a new system, and it's a very vanilla playbook. You're not going to see everything. I don't think they're going to be running flea flicker reverses or wildcat. I mean, you may see one of those plays just for them to work on it. That is possible, but you're not going to see a ton of – complexity out of either side um you know from the, of the football you're not gonna see wing martindale showing every exotic blitz in the preseason you're, you're not gonna see it. you may see a base scheme of it you may see a you know like a, a I, I can't think of the word but a, a very plain 
blitz or whatever, but you're not going to see the, these exotic plays on offense or defense. But I am anxious to see the Giants play tonight. I hope you guys are too. Hopefully you'll come by, join Chris and myself. And, you know, again, the final score never matters. It, the final score of these games does not matter. The things that matter is you want to see your guys play well and you really hope nobody gets injured. That is obviously always the big thing. Anytime you can come out of these games with everybody intact and everybody healthy, no serious injuries, that's a win. That is a win for either team. You hope that both teams get out of it unscathed. Anyway, that's all I got in this video. Again, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Made this far. You're a trooper. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share it out with a Giants fan, and come by tonight. Watch the Giants take on the Pats with the entertainer and myself. It's bad digging Disney. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, everybody. We'll see you later tonight. I'm out. Peace.